Hey guys, Brian with Vet Source checking in Monday afternoon, early afternoon. Got another car for you here that I'm going to detail real quick in the video uh, description so you can kind of see what we're working with. This is a 1991 Corvette Coupe that we picked up for, as a parts car. Uh, been sitting for quite a few years now, suffered some pretty uh, poor treatment and fate, just kind of neglected over the years. And right now we're going to go ahead and utilize this as a parts car. Um, the car, as you can see, is complete. Uh, there's really nothing missing. Condition-wise, I'm going to say it's probably fair to average on a lot of things here. Uh, there's some things that are good about it, some things that are bad. I'll kind of go over weather strippings, obviously no good. Target top, the see-through top is on it, but it's kind of rough. It's not cosmetically nice. It's got some aftermarket Z06 rims on it. They do have some pitting and some other things like that. Front bumper hood, assembly, headlights are all intact, which is a good thing. Uh, dash cluster does not work, unfortunately, but it will make a good parts car for us uh, to put some other cars back on the road or get them back up to speed again. Um, you know, oftentimes I get asked, uh, why do you part them out versus trying to put them back together. Let me see if I can get the hood up for you guys because the hood's kind of heavy. Um, and the truth is, some of these cars just, when they get to this level where they've been abandoned and neglected for a long period of time, they're just not economically feasible to put them back on the road. So what we're gonna do with this one is uh, tear it down completely, uh, take everything apart. Suspension actually looks really nice on this car still. I don't know the mileage of the car because the cluster's not working. I'm gonna see if I can get that done. You can actually see the paint's kind of still shiny on that frame rail. So this at one time was a pretty nicely kept car. Like I said, it just kind of fell between the cracks. It wasn't anything that the owner did to uh, to to on purpose. It just kind of happened. Um, sometimes you get older owners that just can't keep up with their cars anymore, and that's kind of the case of what happened with this one. Life gets in the way, you know. I've said it a lot of times, guys. So, um, yeah, in the case of this car, uh, unfortunately, you'd spend more money on trying to acquire parts for this and other things uh, than it is even economically feasible to get it back together. It did take on um, some storm weather. Didn't flood it, but it's just been sitting in with that cosmetically. It just deteriorated really fast. And Corvettes are kind of susceptible to this because um, if you leave them outside in the elements, they'll get this way, you know. And see this door panel is probably no good, so it'll be for parts. Uh, somehow somebody messed this piece up here, so that's pretty much no good. Back bumper still looks pretty good on it. It's got Flowmaster exhaust on there, which will be available. Uh, let me see if I can show you the target top a little more closely here. The target top is there. Blue tint. That's the original top. Like I said, it's not cosmetically perfect. Weather stripping seals are pretty bad on it, but it's solid. It's not delaminated anywhere, so it's pretty good from that perspective. And those are actually getting a little bit harder to find. Uh, we got some good side panels here, fender panels. It's got a really good front bumper assembly. The lights are still in it, need a little polishing and buffing. Uh, tune port assembly, the motor actually looks intact. It does crank. I just haven't got it to start yet because I've got no fuel pressure, which I'm assuming uh, nine times out of ten is the fuel pump's gone bad. The inner fenders all look fairly decent. They're not busted and cracked. The original bolts are still on it. Um, you know, just overall a good harvesting type car to harvest for parts. Uh, headlight motors there, radiator assembly with the cooling fans and everything is intact. The snorkel for the air cleaner, all the original components are still on this car. In fact, I'm probably going to scavenge those horns from one of my cars. So, um, yeah, what I'll probably do over the next few days is I'll detail taking this thing apart so you guys can see what's involved with pulling these down, uh, getting them processed. It's not too terribly difficult. There's some things on the car that are tricky to take apart, but I figure you might get some enjoyment out of watching that. Um, and I'll probably start doing that tomorrow, the day after, just so I can get this out of here quickly. Uh, rear view mirror looks marginal, not too bad. Sun visors actually uh, are not the material themselves. These are known to be bad. I may have to save those for one of my cars too. So um, 
yeah, if you've seen anything on here that you like or want to grab, get first dibs on, definitely give me a call. My name is Brian. My phone number is 832-654-7367. It's always the easiest way to get a hold of me. You can reach me pretty much day or night at that number. Um, and if you got something you'd like to see or even uh, something you'd like me to detail, just let me know. Uh, appreciate you guys checking in to watch, and I'll get back with you tomorrow. Thanks again, guys.